Let's start by telling you a story about the importance of employee culture. Yeah, when you're thinking about managing your brand, that becomes pretty important. We know that customers are at the heart of all the revenue that a company creates, but it's the culture and the employees that are going to make that happen with the customers. So here's a really important question. Do your employees love your brand? I think that's a great question. Uh, uh, do they go out of their way to defend your brand in conversations with friends? That's right. And are, are they likely to use the products even if they weren't working for you? Would they still use the products? Even product? if they had to pay full retail. Would your employees <laughs> go out and buy your product right. if they had to pay full retail? Do they enjoy telling friends and family that they work for you? And do they encourage their friends and family to use your products? Okay. These are the important right. questions. So tell so, the story. All right. So, so we, we know a story about a, a guy named John Topple. And he really spends a lot of his time and energy building Hewlett Packard's brand. Not surprisingly, mm -hmm. you know, he goes out on uh, uh, every Saturday. He's at a, Sarah, a Santa Clara electronics store. And he's, he's sort of advising customers. And he's kind of watching what they're looking at. Okay. He's making, you know, giving them some tips. And, and, and he, he basically is coaching consumers on how to get the most from their HP products. And, and on weekdays, mm -hmm. he's, he's going into the schools and the universities. He's recruiting uh, new Recruiting employees. new employees, right. telling people what a, a great place it is to work. Right, right. For, for HP, exactly. Okay. All right, so John Topple says that he thinks that it's sort of like having two marriages. Quote, I have a wonderful marriage at home for 36 years and a wonderful marriage at Hewlett Packard. Oh, well, okay. So <laughs> the punchline of the story yeah. is that John Topple is not paid anything by Hewlett Packard. John <laughs> Topple is retired. Right. He stopped working for Hewlett Packard years ago. In fact, Hewlett Packard has him working as a volunteer. <laughs> and their goal is to have 40,000 volunteers around the world extolling Hewlett Packard's virtues to customers and new employees and so forth. And, and why, basically... Why would they do this? They do it because Hewlett Packard has a very strong, tangible culture. There's almost no employee anywhere who's ever worked for Hewlett Packard who can't tell you about the virtues of the HP way. And, and culture is a very hard thing to define, yeah. really. It's very hard. There are a lot of people trying to define but it. But every yeah. company has a culture. No matter whether whether they whether manage it, it or even realize it. You have a culture. You, you have, have a culture. And, you, know, right. and you, can, you can define it however you want. Some people say, well, yeah. culture is how things are done around here, yeah. how we do things around here. That's our culture. Or uh, culture is, I mean, think about this. If a, a new employee comes to work and needs to file expense accounts, do you think he's going to go online, he or she's going to go online and find out from your internet site how the forms go? And so, no. They turn to the person next to them and say, how do you file expense reports around here? How do, how do we do things around here? That's the culture. Right, right. It's what employees do when no one is looking. That's right. And we're going to show you today yeah. that there's no single factor in any company's success more important than the culture you have within your employees. And nothing harder for a competitor to copy.